ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋನೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಶೋ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೋನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಕುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಝೀರೋ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಲ್ Since zero factorial equals to one, then one by zero factorial equals to one by one, which is equals to one. Okay, so you can replace this one by one by zero factorial plus three by one factorial plus five by two factorial plus seven by three factorial plus so on. Okay, so if you notice in the numerator, you are having odd. numbers 1 3 5 7 so on are odd numbers and in the denominator you having 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 and so on are whole numbers right we know that a value in the form 2n plus 1 where n is whole number is an odd number okay in the denominator you having odd number in the numerator you are having one sorry in the denominator you are having whole number and in the numerator you are having 1 3 5 7 which are odd numbers so you can replace this odd number by 2n plus 1 since 2n plus 1 is an odd number okay so you could write this as 2n plus 1 that is you can write n term as 2n plus 1 an odd number by n factorial where n is a whole number okay if you want you can check if you put n equals to the first whole number that is for n equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on for n equals to 0 you'll get t naught equals to 2 into 0 plus 1 by 0 factorial. So, 0 factorial equals to 1. We will get 2 into 0, 0 plus 1 by 0 factorial is 1. That is 1. Okay. Or 1 by 0 factorial. You can write as it is. Okay. This is our T naught. And the next term for n equals to 1. If you put n equals to 1, you will get t1 equals to 2 into 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial, which is equals to 2 plus 1 by 1 factorial equals to 3 by 1 factorial. This one, right? So, this is a t1 like that. If you put n equals to 2, We'll get t2 equals to 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2 factorial which is equals to 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 5 by 2 factorial the third term right likewise we put n equals to 3 we'll get t3 equals to 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 factorial is equals to 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 1 7 by 3 factorial the next term okay which means our nth term is correct so you could replace the series by summation tn for n equals to 0 to infinity whole numbers okay
So this becomes, or uh, you could write this as equals to summation nth term for n equals to 0 to infinity for n whole numbers. Okay, for n being whole numbers. Right. So this equals to summation n equals to 0 to infinity. Now replace t and you are having t n equals to 2n plus 1 by n factorial. Right. So you could write this as summation n equals to 0 to infinity. In the numerator you are having two terms and in the denominator you are having one term. So you could write this as 2n by 1 factorial plus 1 by n factorial. Simply you will split this fraction into two fractions. That is sum of two fractions I can say. So this equals to summation n equals to 0 to infinity. 2n by n factorial plus summation n equals to 0 to infinity. 1 by n factorial. Okay. So this equals to summation. You are having n in the numerator, right? In order to remove or eliminate this n, what we are going to do is we'll simply use n factorial formula. n factorial equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into so on into n minus 1 into n, right? And also we know that n minus 1 factorial equals to 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1. So now we can replace 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial into this n, right? So we have n factorial equals to n minus 1 factorial into n. So now you can replace this n factorial by n minus 1 factorial into n. So you can write this as 2n by n minus 1 factorial into n. Okay. See here you are having n minus 1 factorial. So that you can take n from 1 to infinity. Okay. Or 1 to so on. Hmm? You can't take n equals to 0 because 0 minus 1 factorial equals to minus 1 factorial which is undefined. Right? For that purpose we take n from 1 to infinity. n equals to 1 to infinity. Plus summation n equals to 0 to infinity 1 by n to n factorial. Okay. The second term as it is. So now you can cancel n. Right. So this equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity 2 by n minus 1 factorial plus summation n equals to 0 to infinity 1 by n factorial. 2 being constant, you can take it outside the summation. You will get 2 into summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n minus 1 factorial plus summation n equals to 0 to infinity 1 by n factorial. This becomes... This is equals to 2 into, now I expand this for n equals to 1 to infinity. Firstly, for n equals to 1, you will get 1 by 1 minus 1 factorial. For n equals to 2, 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial. For n equals to 3, 1 by 3 minus 1 factorial. For n equals to 4, 1 by 4 minus 1 factorial plus so on. Plus. Now I expand this for n equals to 0 to infinity. You will get 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Okay. So this equals to 2 into 1 by 1 minus 1, 0 factorial plus 1 by 2 minus 1, 1 factorial plus 1 by 3 minus 1, 2 factorial 
plus 1 by 4 minus 1 with 3 factorial plus so on plus as it is. Okay. Since we know that if our x equals to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial plus so on. Then e power 1 which is equals to e equals to 1 plus. Now put x equals to 1 you will get 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Right? You are having 1 here. Right? You can replace this 1 by 1 by 0 factorial. Since 0 factorial equals to 1, then you will get 1 by 0 factorial equals to 1 by 1 which is equals to 1. Now you can replace this 1 by 1 by 0 factorial. Otherwise you can replace 1 by 0 factorial as 1 here and simply you can replace it by E. Replace it my means this one. Replace this series by E. Okay. Let's replace here itself. So we'll replace 1 by 1 by 0 factorial and we'll write the remaining terms as it is. We'll get 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Okay. So this becomes 2 into 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 is E. Plus again 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 2 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 is E. Now replace it by E. We get 2e plus 3 is 3e, which is your RHS. Therefore, the sum of given series is equals to 3e. Therefore, 1 plus 3 by 1 factorial plus 5 by 2 factorial plus 7 by 3 factorial plus so on equals to 3e. This completes the problem. Fine. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.